Well, hello everybody and welcome back to an unboxing. It's been a bit. Um, today we're actually going to look at a uh, battleship 1-800 scale from Academy. So, let's head over to the bench. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to an unboxing. It's been a bit, but uh, I ordered a bunch of, uh, I think, three battleships from uh, Colt TV Man. He had a sale, you know, end of the year sale going on. And these were like, I think this one was only like seven bucks or something. It's really simple. And the other ones were like 17 or something like that. And, um, I think I went and got a, I'll do unboxings on these. But I got something from Atlantis. These are a little bigger. These are 1618 scale. But we'll do unboxings on those later. And this is a little something different. I'm usually doing sci-fi stuff. So... But it's nice to do something different. I'm into battleships. You know, I was, you know, when I first did uh, model kits when I was younger, it was mainly like Navy and Air Force planes and tanks and battleships and a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Um, but I figured I'd start off with, you know, smaller kits and then maybe go up and get some of the bigger uh, ship builds that they have out there. I mean, some of the detail work you can get for these ships. I'm going to do this straight out of the box, just for a, a learning experience. Probably the same with the other two, and then maybe move up to bigger ones. I might, maybe if I, I can find some third-party uh, parts for those, since they're a little bigger. I think those are, what, 6, 18 inches or something they say there? 16 inches, and I think this is only, I don't know, uh, not quite that, maybe a 12, maybe 12 inches, something. But it's cool, it's a German battleship, Terpitz, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, I'm probably completely saying that wrong and butchering it, but this is by uh, Academy, which I believe the SP, uh, five that I did was an academy for my friend and there's some other really cool ships out here there's the one we're building supposedly and they do have a Bismarck out and that's a oh these are the th one three fifties yeah see that's what I would like to get to do I definitely like to do a Bismarck we got some cool aircraft carriers that they have a one eight hundredth of the car aircraft carrier which would be nice to have a small a smaller one. Hmm. That's very neat. But let's get into this one. Um, box wise, it just shows you a couple ships on the side there. And then, you know, just the international stuff. So nothing really special there. And here's our hull. Already molded in a red, but I don't know. Well, this might get a red down below the water level. And here's our upper deck. That looks really nice. The anchors look, the detail looks really good for such a small ship. And here's another cool feature about this. No decals at all with this, so everything's painted. And we got to paint it up to look like that. So that should be interesting. Let's see if I can find some good reference photos. Um, instructions are fairly simple, but one of the first things we get to build, and this is what's cool about this kit, is it comes with a little motor for the propellers. So that's neat. So that shows you actually building the uh, switch and uh, battery assembly for that, and you know, to mount the motor, because that's one of the first things that goes in there. And it uses a little rubber shaft to connect the motor to the propeller shaft. That's pretty neat. Then it's pretty straightforward. Everything's in the towers. <laughs> you know, and then we'll try to run some lines, you know, with string. I think the string's going to be almost a little bit big for these in scale. Maybe not. It'll look good on like a 350 or the 600s. But I don't see any real paint guide to this. I 
No, not at all. And they get that that type of pattern. Now there is the Bismarck. That pattern is so recognizable. This is a little different than the Bismarck. I don't know if they're the same as far as style of ship. I see some differences. But as far as meet the parts, there's not much to it. I mean, you got... Let's see if we can at least go in here. Yeah. Here. Since it's a bag full of spurs. Bag full of other bags. We'll start from here. And first here, this must be the engine you know the little motor and uh yeah there's your positive and negative for the battery the battery probably it takes what a double a single double a battery probably goes right in there oh and the motor gets hooked back here i believe yeah these yeah and the motor will be back here so that's what all that is and then these are the metal parts all your metal tabs for the in the rubber shaft for your positive and negative wires that get stuck down in there so that's what's in that bag and in here it gives you your motor it gives you grease for the motor and the shafts and yeah because you they want you to put a little grease on that one piece of plastic that holds the shaft I never saw any like wiring for this and I don't see any either. The oh it touch it must touch it must these contacts must touch a rail. Yeah. They do. So you don't have to wire them. When it comes down it touches a rail from these that bring the positive and negative power back to here. And then you make a uh, you're making a switch mechanism too with this part right here. So that's neat. So all you all you do is just lift a part of the the ship up, I think, back here, and then hit a switch and turn on, and it'll run that. Very neat. So that's what's in uh, bag two. Then this here is just the rest of your building up your guns, your big guns here, got some boats, got all your little mini guns that go everywhere, some like cranes. Some type of warning. In multiple languages. What do we got here? Uh, this is just telling you how to clip the sprues and what certain symbols mean things you would need side cuts tweezers scissors yeah just things you need but that's pretty much it it's a it's gonna be a pretty cool little ship yeah that'll look neat and that's a nice size to fit on you know not take up a whole lot of room on my shelf it doesn't have a stand though so i might have to come up with something Hmm. But anyway, I'm brainstorming and I'm making this a video longer than it should be. But I just figured I would show this. It's a pretty neat kit. It'll be my first, you know, ship build and probably ever. I don't know if I well, it's been a long time. We built that little I remember me and my brother built a little battleship. I think it was only like this big. It might have been this big. It might have been a eight hundred scale. So it's been, you know, 35 years or so but this should be fun I don't know if I'm going to do a build series on this I try to try to keep most of my stuff to uh, sci-fi but I'm probably going to do updates showing you how how it's going for sure but I don't know if I'll do an actual build series because I'm going to be learning a lot which is okay I'll show you what I learned in updates but until then thanks for watching